back, students, to the first Tiger Pause of the semester, where we keep you up to date on what's going on around UWA. I'm Caleb Walters. And I'm Callie Murphy. Coming up, we'll tell you why students can feel a little safer running the loop. But first... The UWA Board of Trustees had their quarterly meeting last week. Several subcommittees met to discuss the finances and various departments within the university. The board approved to finalize the plans to renovate Spieth Hall. Once all the plans have been approved, the renovation will free up much-needed office space on campus. UWA's Wise Loop has seen some recent upgrades aimed at giving students more peace of mind while they walk or run. To find out more, we go to Rustin. Perhaps you've noticed the blue emergency towers popping up all over campus. We're here today with Investigator Partridge to explain exactly what they are. My name is Garland Partridge. I'm an investigator with the University of West Alabama Police Department. These are going to be our code blues that we have now on campus. We have seven on campus. We have four in these parking lot, and we have three on the north loop. On the code blue panel, we have two buttons. One is for push for help. This is our emergency, it's, it's in red. When you push it, it goes to a straight line to our dispatch, and then we, our dispatcher there will take the call. The other black button here is for information. This is for in case if you're lost, or if you just need information about uh, having directions on campus. The university has plans to expand on this project later this year. Caleb and Kelly, now you know how to stay safe anywhere around campus. Back to you. Thanks, Rustin. The UWA tennis team is currently conducting free tennis clinics for UWA faculty, staff, and students every Wednesday until October 30th. No experience is required to participate. Tennis balls are provided, but you will need to bring your own racket. For more information, contact Coach Glenn Hunt Finelli at extension 7393. UWA Rodeo recently has its own national champion, Tiger Wrangler, a first for UWA. Perry Dunkling has more on Zach Smith and his big win. Hi, I'm Perry Dunkling from Studio 96, and I'm here at the University of West Alabama Rodeo Arena to talk to recent national champion, Mr. Zach Wilson. I'm here with our very own University of West Alabama Tiger Wrangler, Mr. Zach Wilson, who has just this year become a national champion in the tie-down roping at the college finals. Now, Zach, who has been your biggest support in getting you to where you are today? My biggest support this year and forever is by far my parents. They've been behind me 110% since I started rodeoing as a kid. And how has being part of the University of West Alabama rodeo team helped you to get to where you are today? Well, you know, we work together as a team, and we've really got close this past year, and we just, we've come, become one big bad family. Now, is there anybody in particular, any family member, or anything who's contributed to your success and where you are today? Mr. Mike Gould helped me out really a lot right before the college finals. He helped me. We were working at it three times a day, and he pushed me to where I was. Again, this is Perry Dunkling from Studio 96. Now back to Caleb and Callie. Thanks, Perry. The UWA Student Government Association has started off the year by trying to accommodate more students in their meetings. SGA has recently outgrown the subconference room and now meets in the Tiger's Den on Monday afternoons at 5 p.m. The new location allows for almost twice as many students to attend the meetings. For more information about SGA, contact the Executive Council at sga at uwa.edu. Julia Tutwiler Library has gotten a few technology upgrades to benefit UWA students. Tiara Robinson has more on the new online databases and what they mean to students. I'm Tiara Robinson, reporting for Studio 96, here at the Julia Tutwiler Library, where I spoke to John Upchurch about the databases that will help make our college experience a little better. We offer over 140 databases that give us access to something like 63,000 journals. It's going to include things like journals, magazines that you would find like at a newsstand, newspapers, as well as things like images, news transcripts, court cases all kinds of stuff. It's not just journals. There's a ton of stuff out there to find. Well, I do a lot for instruction, instruction sessions and for classes, um, but any of our staff members, if you just want to come to the front desk, we really want you to ask questions, especially when it's about using the databases and uh, other resources effectively. The best places are going to be through the library homepage, which is just library.uwa.edu. There's also a, a page called libguides.uwa.edu slash databases and there they'll be able to find information on the databases by title by subject as well as help guides and, and uh, other information about the databases students feel like they get stuck they feel uncomfortable you know um, and we don't want them to feel that we want them to feel like they can they'll be able to use these uh, more effectively there'll be a ton of stuff and find appropriate sources for them that sounds like a great resource to have tigers back to you guys in the studio 
Thanks, Tierra. With the summer season winding down, temperatures are beginning to fluctuate. Now to Christy to see what we can expect for this week's weather. Temperatures are finally starting to cool off. The highs will drop into the 80s two days this week on Wednesday and Friday. Temperatures during the men's soccer game on Friday night will comfortably be in the 70s. The weather will continue to be dry with the first chance of rain coming this weekend. That's all for the week's weather. I'm Christy Smith. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Christy. That does it for this week's Tiger Paws. Join us next week as we bring you more news you can use around campus. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you.